what's up y'all we back with another video and this is our second go at the heart to heart collab that was put together by keeping up with the griffins if you guys don't know the griffins go check them out i'm gonna put them right here So if you guys aren't connected to the Griffins, definitely go check them out. They're an awesome family and this collab was created by them. This is our second time doing it. We've been on YouTube about a year and a half. So we were fortunate to get into the one that they did last year for 2023. And here we go again. So for our heart to heart, we're gonna do paint and sip. So we got our little sippy sippy. And we have our canvas with our picture on it. We have to paint it. So we ain't professionals like 755. We can't just go paint off the dome. So your girl had to put some little stencils on the canvas. We already put our paint together. We have our 14 questions. So this collab is a collab about love. And the Griffins have given us 14 questions to answer. So we're going to answer these questions while we paint these pictures. If you guys didn't see our heart to heart video from last year, definitely go check that one out as well. So we're going to go ahead and turn these around and we're going to start painting. But again, we're going to answer the 14 questions. Um, and if you guys want to join in this collab, definitely reach out to the Griffins and let them know and they can get you the questions or... I mean, however. Yeah, because if y'all don't get them from them, we'll sell them to you. <laughs> it ain't like they can't just get them off this, but we would really like for you guys to be a part of the collab if you want to do it. Just reach out to the Griffins um, and they're linked in the description. So if you need to contact them, that's how you can do it. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, but yeah, I forgot to tell y'all, if y'all return subscribers, y'all already know we a whole vibe. And if you're new, stick around, check us out. We would love for you to be a part of our family. Let's get started. Don't cheat off me either. Not already finished. Not already finished. <laughs> Don't be looking at mine. All right, so the first question is, what was your first impression of me? I was like, she cute. I was like, she, she looked like she got a little something going on there. She might got a little head on her shoulders. <laughs> That's what you said? Because the last time you said oh, yeah. it was them titties. Yeah, it was them titties. I saw right. them titties. Make, make up your mind. But I did see them titties on that profile picture. Well, I was scrolling through Facebook and they ended up showing like people you may know. And I looked at her profile picture and I was like, yeah, I remember her from school, so I was like, let me send her a friend request. And I saw this dress that she had on, and I was like, yeah. Was it the dress? It was them titties. Whatever. That was them titties. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Can't act right. But she had a beautiful smile. And then I was like, yeah, I remember her from school. I was like, let me send this little friend request and just see how that go. How it go? <laughs> We got married. <laughs> Why you say it like that? <laughs> we got married. All right, so what I thought about you. I always say my story ain't gonna change. When I first saw you, I was like, he can get it. The time you saw each other. Yeah. Well, she was all into this. She was ready for me. Right? <laughs> hey. So, 
basically I saw him on Facebook and when I saw him I'm like oh he can get it who is that so I was introduced to him I stayed in Atlanta then um, but my family all was here in Memphis so when I came to see my mom I met up with him and we went out on a date so when I first saw him I said he could get it that was, that's what I said <laughs> so my impression was that he was cute he was cute or whatever <laughs> so I'm like let me highlight him so I was living in Atlanta then um, I'm born and raised in Memphis Tennessee but I had moved to Atlanta Georgia and I came home we met up and it's history from there number two what would your younger self think of our relationship slash marriage? Um, my younger self would be happy because I've always wanted a family. Like I've always wanted my own little family. So my younger self would be happy because looking at the options, and I'm not trying to deter anybody that's single right now, but woo, y'all got y'all got it rough out there. So I would be happy. I think my younger self would probably say, boy, you did good. <laughs> you did good. And not you did that? Yeah, boy, you did the damn thing. Because <laughs> I figured I would get married, but it wasn't just like a big, like I had to get married as a kid. Like, I, you know, as a kid, you like, yeah, hey, I'm going to have this, I'm going to have that, white kids. But, you know, as you get older, it's just kind of be like, if it happened, it happened. But... I think that's a man thing. Yeah, I guess. Because I think all women, like, it's going to happen. We want it to happen. Like, most women. I haven't, I haven't really met a lot of women who don't want to be, you know, not so much married, but just even in a relationship, a stable relationship. So, that's kind of what us women want to do. Y'all men be trying to be out there. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Number three, if you could relive one experience we've shared together, what would it be? I think our first date, the first time we met, because when you first meet somebody, it's always the anticipation. Is it, is it like, you know, because we talked on the phone so much that I wonder was it going to still keep that same energy and laughter, and it, and it did. So I think. So you would want to relive that one? Yeah, I like yeah. Cause it was fun. Cause we was just. Cause it was new and just exciting, just to learn each other. Yeah. If, if I could relive one experience, trips are always good. And even though this is, you know, couple related, I love the trips when it's your family and my family together. Like, because technically, you know, we, we one family now. So when we all go out um, on vacation together, your side, my side, I think the last good one we had was, of course, when dad was with us. So when we went to, um, what is it, Orlando? Orlando, so. Yeah, yeah. to uh, Kissimmee. Kissimmee? Yeah. I mean, I wish we could relive that because for one, we would have dad back, but it's just always a good time when we can get together. When, you, when your family is cool, your spouse family cool, and everybody can get along together good, that's a good thing. Like, because, I mean, I thought it was kind of normal, but now I'm starting to see uh, it's not so much normal. <laughs> <laughs> like, people be really having issues with their in-laws and stuff, so. That sucks. Yeah, it sucks. It makes it easy when everybody gets along. Right. Yeah, and, fortunate to have that. Right. Yeah, I hope we ain't boring while we, cause we concentrate like a mud on this pain. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, would you rather have a fun new experience together or a gift you've been wanting for a while? I would want a new experience. Like I'm, Again, we travel, we like to travel, we like to have fun. And I'm not a selfish person. So to me, the question is, would you want to go and enjoy and have fun with your spouse? Or would you want something, you know, like that Tesla or that, you know, 
Mercedes truck you've been wanting. <laughs> so to me, it's a thing where I would want to enjoy it with my partner. So I would say I would want to experience something new. Yeah, I'm going with something new. Stuff I'd be wanting, I'd be wanting a boot. <laughs> I'd be wanting something to enhance this lawn business, stuff like that. But yeah, I'd take something. I'd take something new. Because the way we are, we will work together to get the gift. You know, not so much the gift, but whatever. If like with you, stuff for the lawn. We know that that is beneficial to the family as a whole. So of course I'm with, you know, getting it. The SUV is beneficial to the family as a whole cause happy wife, happy life. I'm just saying. Period. I'm trying to concentrate. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we both would pick the new experience together. All right, so number five, would you rather get a box of chocolate or a bouquet of flowers? <laughs> <laughs> Flower me, man. <laughs> Flower me, man, too. Uh, I'm not big. I eat chocolate, of course, but I'm not big on chocolate. It's not my favorite thing to have, so I like looking at pretty flowers. I'm at work all day in the office, so a lot of times I take them to the office because it's something good to look at <laughs> while you're locked up. I mean, at work. My husband said he wants some flowers. <laughs> yeah, I know what that was. Verse six, would you rather plan a date together or get surprised with the whole date already planned date together? I mean, I wouldn't mind if he already had it planned out. I wouldn't be mad, but I mean, we usually plan stuff well together. That way we already know before we do it, then we gonna like it because we thought of it together. We need to know what we need to put on. Yeah. Because one time, y'all, for his birthday, I surprised him with a trip to Vegas. And he was like, you know, we always cruise. So he was like, do I need to, do I need to have, like, summer clothes or, yeah. you know, pool clothes? Yeah, I need to know because I'll be there on some dukes in that thing. Really? I'd rather us playing together. That way we both know, which we like the same stuff, but... At least we both know what we're gonna do and you know, all that. All that there. Number seven, would you rather go on a romantic vacation or have a romantic staycation and why? Either or is fine with me. But why we like vacations, we like to go. And then when we get in there, we stay in. Yeah. People be like, y'all paid all this money to come in here and see this. Yup. We work. <laughs> we work. Vacation to relax. Right. We work Monday through Friday all day long. If we don't want to get up early or get up and be out and about, we don't want to. And a lot of times, you know, we do love to travel with other people, but sometimes it's cool when it's just us because we don't have to, you know, worry about other people getting up or wanting us to get up and just chill. We just be chilling. Oh, well, he said both. He said either one. I prefer to leave. <laughs> I want to get up out of here. So, I want to get up out of here, but you know, if you don't really have, you know, the funds to be doing it at the time or something going on and you can't really leave, then hey, staycation will work. It's cool. You want some yellow for your um, crown? Right, so I'm just trying to these brushes from Dollar Tree. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite love song and why? Oh, um, I like the one with her and is it Daniel Caesar? I think so. Um, best part that song. I like that one. I like a lot of love songs, so I wouldn't necessarily say I got a favorite. I mean, I don't really have a favorite that I can think of. You know. Yeah, I think my favorite love song is uh, anything by Two Live Crew. There's only one place where we can go to see freaky girls doing show. Really, dude? Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Not for real. No, um, I don't know, because I got a lot of songs. I like a lot of music. Y'all like yeah. music like that, yeah. so. So it's, it's kind of hard to say. Just one. 
But I know one that stands out to me is the one. What's the jump out? Uh, Gerald Levert. Did I have sent you? I can't think of the name. When you said it to me. <laughs> now he already know. Then I don't remember nothing. It's a long time ago. Destiny, cause I was made to love. I don't say why. So on mine, I just, because it just says how you the best part like and I like how it gives the little how does the word the word play where it's like um you're the Tylenol I take when my head hurt that's what he said so I like that song I insert who is by but I think it's Daniel Caesar and her you're the Tylenol I take when my head hurts What's your favorite romantic comedy or movie? I don't really have one. Comedy? Like favorite, I mean, we, I think we said this, definitely said this on the uh, first one. We like Martin and Gina, like, cause they super cool, you know, just vibrant black couple. We like that. They funny and they fun, so. Um, we'll say that for a TV show. Like, we like that couple. What you gonna say? And don't say Whitney and Bobby either. <laughs> no. Uh, it's a comedy or movie. That's why I said I ain't really getting that. No, me either. That's why I use TV show. A few moments later. All right, so we did take a brief intermission because this was taking a little bit more time than we thought and we wanted to give you guys a little bit of eye contact at least. All right, so we were on number 10. Y'all see this paint all on my hands. All right, so we're on number 10. If you could improve our relationship in one way, what would it be? Spending more time together. Most definitely. Because he work all day, I work all day. Then I come home and I'm trying to edit videos, create videos, look up more videos to do. So I would say I put a lot of time into social media because I'm trying to grow it. But, you know, sometimes you gotta put all that aside because at the end of the day, this means more to me than this, so. You know, I would definitely say spending more time together. You agree? Um, number 11, what is one new experience that you think you should share together this year? Well, it won't be this year. Because this year we already have a lot planned. So, and then next year we vow to not take as many vacations because for our 10 year anniversary, we want to do something big. In order to do something big, we got to save some money. So, just saying. I say new experience next year. Little roller coaster, little bungee jump. Oh, it ain't happening. Negative. <laughs> I ain't bungee jumping and I definitely ain't doing what else, what else? Roller coasters. No roller coasters for me. I'll hold your coat. Number 12, what's your guilty pleasure in our relationship slash marriage? I don't know. <laughs> um, Guilty pleasure? I mean, what would you say? I don't know. I guess something that you really like. I mean, traveling? Being able to experience new places together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the pleasure. Making money. I don't know. Wait. Your answer sound false. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? I like pleasure. <laughs> but no, nah, I don't. I don't know about that one. I, don't know. I mean, everything. Thirteen. Do you think we spend enough time together? No, I don't. I mean. We're together all the time, but when he's playing his game, he's on his tablet, I'm doing something with YouTube that doesn't really count. So, I mean, we could be in the same room, but if we're not communicating or conversing with one another or just, that's not the same to me. 
she be looking at y'all. Of course I'm looking at y'all because y'all looking at me, right? Right? Better be. <laughs> and do you agree that we we don't spend enough time together? We are together, but we're not together together, so. Number 14, what aspect of our relationship slash marriage do you feel would be important to teach others? Um, I would say, but you know already, keeping God first, compromising. Yeah, cause it ain't easy. It ain't easy, it ain't easy. Like, the top is hardest things to do is not on my top is hardest things to do. But, you know, everybody want to see or believe that fairy tale magic marriage where you never fight and everything is good and da da da, da and it, it, I've never seen it before in my life. And if you tell me that you have, I'm going to need you to show me proof. But all relationships, marriages come with a little bit of what? What word do I want to use? Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of chaos like we don't always get along you know but more times than none we do but we don't always agree on everything you know i mean again i haven't met a couple that agreed on every single thing i get on his nerves he get on my nerves it is what it is but we still love each other and that's just how it goes so um i would just say keep god first and Keep people out your business. <laughs> That's right out the guard. <laughs> and just, you know, understand that when you make a commitment to marry, that you have to take it seriously. You stand before God and you say that you're going to do these things. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. So, um, again, this is the Heart to Heart collab created by Keeping Up With The Griffins. If you aren't connected to them, definitely go and check this great family out. They're amazing. Um, and is there anything else that you wanna add? Uh, nah. Nah. Man, this little sparkling juice got me drunk. So nah. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and reveal our paintings to you all right y'all ready i'm a simple guy my boy got the white beat on the gold crown and he got on some joints really they can't see the joints but he got on some joints yeah okay <laughs> so here's our painting guys this is what we came up with what y'all think yeah. but we appreciate you guys for kicking it with the rooks if you're a returning subscriber y'all already know we're a whole vibe and if you're new man come on over and get to know that we're a whole vibe because we is oh, biggity, biggity vibe. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so we out peace